Hello guys, welcome back to the Dangerous Event. Thanks for joining. Nearly the 58,000 homes in the New Zealand's Northern North Island were left without power as the approach of the cyclone Gabriel brings strong winds and the heavy winds and the strong waves to the Auckland near region. The Gabriel swept across the Australian territory of the Norfolk Island in the Tasman Sea on the Saturday night, even though the most damaging winds had bypassed the island. It's now the north of the New Zealand and the forecasters expect rain and the wind to pick up as it approaches land. The Gabriel's impact is still in its early stages and the further swear and the swear weather is still expected in the Tamaki Makaro, Auckland this Tuesday morning, said the Rachel Kelhead, the deputy comptroller of the Auckland Office of the Emergency Management. Now is not the time for the complacency. The many schools and the local government offices in the Auckland and the north of the North Island were closed and the people are being asked not to travel if possible. A state of the emergency is in fact in the Auckland at at least four other regions. Weather agency Met Service said the city of the Wangare, north of the Auckland, received the 100.5 mm of the rain in the last 12 hours and the winds of the 159 km per hour were recorded off the coast of the Auckland. There have been significant disruption to the public transport with the planes, ferries, buses and the trains either suspended or operating on reduced schedules. The New Zealand Defence Force has deployed the 150 personnel in the Auckland and the neighbouring regions and is delivering the household items to civil defence centres and the shelters. The cyclone is the second significant weather event to hit the Auckland and the northern part of the North Island in just a few weeks. A record amount of the rain fell in the Auckland and the surrounding areas last month, causing the flooding and the killing of the four people. So this was the emergency situation that has been occupied in the New Zealand, in the Auckland especially. So thanks for watching and please pray for the affected people in the New Zealand, especially in the Auckland. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.